Today I'm going to show you how the new Transformer Gen 2 firmware can uh, unlock some new features in your charger RT or, or 300. This is a 2013 Dodge Charger RT with the Transformer. And I'm just turning the ignition on and the engine is not running in order to get into these menus. I hit the back button. I'm going to be using the back button and the cancel button to get into the menus and the on off button along with the back button in order to change the settings. So let's see if I can balance this camera. I hit back and cancel and you'll see that top one goes to cheer, clear check engine light. If you have a check engine light that's on while the engine's running you can just press the on off button here and it'll reset that. If I press cancel again with back I get to sport set so I'm going to hit the back button and on off at the same time and you see the radio resets, comes back to life. And I should now have sport mode. We'll go back here. Next item on the list is SRT. We'll set that, that resets the cluster. You see the SRT logo comes up. And I should now have the SRT menus in here. There they are. Okay. We'll go back. Let's see. We need to see the radio display so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Let's go back in. We have a couple more things to enable. Performance pages. Let's do that. Again, the radio will reset. And I now have the SRT logo with SRT performance pages. That's my favorite right there. And lastly, paddle shifters. I can enable that. The only indication is that it says paddles on after I enable it. If I had the uh, steering wheel with paddles installed now, it should come to life. And uh, that's almost everything. Let's start the car. We still have all our new features. Um, we now have the ability to turn ESP completely on and off. I press and hold the button for seven seconds. ESP and ABS are completely off. If I uh, press and hold that button again for seven seconds, it'll all turn back on again. And that's it. There you have it.